Uh, let's solve. Uh, let's take a look here at another problem. It looks like I'm going to have to uh, write this in, so that's fine. So let me take a look here and uh, let's write our problem in. We're going to solve, and the problem we're going to solve is 7x minus 3x minus 8 equals 24. And the first thing that we want to do is always write our original problem, which is 7x minus 3x minus 8 equals 24. And my step number one is going to be to combine like terms. So I see I have some x's here, and I can combine those together. So this is one of those that's more than two steps even, because uh, the first step is to combine those like terms. So 7x, take away 3x. So if I have 7x's and I take away three of them, that leaves me with 4x minus 8 equals 24. My next step is to take care of this you know, little guy, this minus 8. So how do I do that? By adding 8 to both sides. And that gives me uh, 4x equals 24 plus 8 is 32. I need to simplify, which I have there. Now I need to divide by 4, because this is 4 times x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And that leaves me with x equals 32 divided by 4 is 8, so my answer is x equals 8. So now to check this, or to verify my answer, I'm going to go back up to my original, and I'm going to plug in 8 everywhere I see an x. So I have 7 times 8, minus 3 times 8, minus 8 equals 24, and that's a question. I want to verify that. So I have 56 minus 24 minus 8. Does that equal 24? Well, 56 minus 24 is 32. So following my order of operations, 32 minus 8 is 24. Does 24 equal 24? Yes. So I'm happy that I got the right answer, and my answer is x equals 8. So remember, this is not 24 equals 24 is not my answer. That's just my verification, just my check. x equals 8 is my answer. All right, uh, here are some problems for you to try on your own. Um, it's interesting that none of my problems here are showing up, so I'll just write these in for you. So our first one is 6 equals 14 minus 2x. Number 2 is 3x minus 1 equals 8. So as I'm writing these in, if you want to be working on them, uh, you can always pause at any time and work on these. And we'll come back and check them as soon as I'm done writing in the problems. Uh, number 5 is 3 minus 3 over 4x equals negative 6. 1 third x minus 5 equals negative 1. 5x minus 4x plus 1 equals a plus sign. Negative 12. And number 8, x plus 5x minus 5 equals 1. So if you could please take a, chance, take a moment and work on these problems, we'll come back and verify them in just a moment. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to work through these, so let's uh, go through these together. So I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides, pick on that little guy, don't work on the variable one yet. So that gives me a negative 8 equals uh, negative 2x, divide both sides by negative 2. So x equals, remember I always want to write x equals, I can just flip the sides. Negative over negative is a positive, so x equals 4 for the first one. Let's take a look at number 2. 3x minus 1 is 8, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. 3x equals 9. Maybe at this point you're already seeing that, well, 3 times 3 is 9, so x must equal 3. And you could divide both sides by 3. 9 divided by 3, sure enough, is 3. So hopefully some of these are starting to jump out at you as seeing the pattern and starting to recognize what the answer should be. So 4x equals 12, divide both sides by 4, and x equals 3. Okay, let me open this up a little bit so we have a little bit more room. Extend our 
page a little bit. So looking here at number 4, I'm going to subtract that 13 from both sides. So 1 half of x is equal to 7. So half of what number is 7? I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, that reciprocal of 1 half. So x equals 14. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take a look here at number 5. Oops. What am I running into? So number 5, I want to take care of this 3 by itself here. So I'm going to subtract 3. It leaves me with negative 3 over 4x equals negative 9. How do I get rid of a negative 3 fourths by multiplying by its reciprocal, a negative 4 over 3? And I need to remember that's like over 1. x equals negative 9 times negative 4 is a positive 36. 1 times 3 is 3. So I have 36 over 3, which is just 12. So x equals 12. 1 third x minus 5 equals negative 1. I'm going to add the 5 to both sides. 1 third of what number is 4? Well, I multiply both sides by 3. The reciprocal of 1 third. x equals 12. And number 7. I seem to have lost my marker there. Uh, ooh, I need to combine those x's first, don't I? So 5x take away 4x is just 1x. Plus 1 equals negative 12. Subtract the 1 from both sides. So 1x equals negative 13. And I don't really need to do anything with that 1. I didn't even really need to write it. So what I can do is just erase that at 1 and just have x equals negative 13. And let's look at our last problem here. x plus 5x minus 5 equals 1. I can combine these x's. If I have 1x and 5x, I really have 6x's. Minus 5 equals 1. I add the 5 to both sides. So 6x equals 6. Divide both sides by 6, and x equals 6 over 6, which is just 1. So 1 plus 5 is 6, minus 5 is 1, so that verifies as well. Uh, that's the end of our lesson today on solving multi-step equations. If you could please make sure to watch the remaining videos, complete the homework assignment before doing the lesson quiz, uh, and if you have any questions, please contact your teacher directly. Uh, thank you for today's lesson.